Greetings YouTube! Rarely do I get text edited over a crystal opening commentary, but that is what this Act 6 completion commentary submission looks like. Jamal has been waiting a couple weeks for me to get to his video, and he said he started playing this game on February to March of this year. Until now, he's explored Act 1 to 5, and at the end of August, completed 6.2. So, that's pretty uh, amazing. Normally, I think most people would be like, what? How is that possible? But in 2020, if you're at home in a pandemic for uh, 24 hours a day, you've got more time to play MCOC. Always wanted... Oh, that list went awfully fast. I would go back and read it, but I don't want this video to be 10 minutes long. Sorry, Jamal. We'll, uh, I saw Quake, Aegon, you know, the usual suspects. We'll, we'll say that. All right, now most of the time you just have to assume that these... Crystals are going to be three stars, and uh, a four-star Angela is actually a win out of these. I had to tell myself that same thing yesterday when I was opening up featured calves and spending $50 to get $40 of four stars and a three-star and feeling as though I had wasted uh, two weeks' worth of arena grinding for 1,500 units of sadness. But, you know, whatevs. You shake it off. <laughs> you get back on that horse, and you commentate more crystals because... You don't have a life, question mark, slash you love your subscribers. And look at that. You got so happy. You got a five-star Aegon from your regular calf crystal? It's been so long since I've seen real success from the free calves of Act 6, but especially the top champ that you're hunting? Bro. Whacked. I'm really excited to post this on YouTube now. No wonder why after two weeks you're like, hey, Prof, you're going to want to commentate this. Can you get to this anytime soon? Sure, buddy. Sometime this weekend. Okay, so two four-stars and a five-star Aegon. Man, there are so many people out there who have opened a thousand-plus five-star crystals and a bunch of featured calves and do not have Aegon. He cannot stop tapping him. <laughs> Internet phrases. Okay, he eventually took him to rank five. Uh, Sig 200, maybe? Okay, well, what a way to start off. And then you get Quake. Literally made my day. Always wanted her since I started playing. I don't even have her as a four-star. Well, Quake and Bake and Shake and no fake. That artichake. Is artichake a word? Absolutely not. But I want to, I want to say artichoke because, you know, it's uh, it's hard to rhyme with artichoke. And if I did, I'd be broke. Oh, popping seven five-stars. Let's get ready to pause this. Wow, this opening has everything. Okay, so... Ugh. That is an ugly star... Well, you're trying to balance out that regular cow. Oh, but hey, magic saved you. What's up, Michael Keaton? And Punisher 2099 is a lot better than he used to be. Finally, some cav success in Act 6. I mean, it's just been so long. Normally, I just fast forward through those because it's like three, four stars if you're lucky, but usually three, three stars. But not just to get a five star, but to get Aegon. Just incredible. I'm sure you were shaking for like an hour. The casino actually hit. The Marvel Casino of Champions actually hit. Okay, well, can he somehow have one of the greatest openings of all time on my channel by completing with a Beyond God tier 6 star out of these two? Maybe. But he doesn't need it. He does not need it. Is he going to pop these two? Wow, he is. Long shot and fishbowl. Those are two great 6 stars, even with the visual glitch that somehow cuts off the 6 stars until you tap them. There you go. Really solid. It reminds me of when I completed Abyss and got Sentinel and Emma Frost. Maxed out Aegon in Sig 150. Awakened Magic and took her to Sig 60. Still rank 1, but will go to rank 5 after Quake. Took Quake to rank 4. Most wanted list at the moment. Torch, Omega Red, Nick Fury, Captain America, Finny War, Void, Thing, and Hyperion. Okay, so like I said, the usual list of suspects. Okay, well, we've got a minute left. Does he have a Nexus Crystal left? I can't remember what comes after this in the opening. Maybe that's it. No. Here's your roster. This is the aftermath. The aftermath of the opening. The dawn is darkest just before... Well, the dawn. And I promise you, the dawn is coming. Well, there you have it, YouTube. Um, what a really well-edited video that saved me time, which I appreciate. And also, I mean, the title of this video has got to be Finally Some Cav Luck in Act 6. Because we just haven't seen that in such a long time in crystal opening commentaries you still got that five star generic you got four four of those 
Dang, man, the algorithm loves to give you signs, doesn't it? Wow. Well, uh, let's pause this here and just say thanks again to Jamal for submitting this crystal opening commentary. Congrats on the luck. I'm excited to put this on YouTube and uh, see what people think. Hopefully, if you are thirsty for Aegon, you get him real soon as well.